Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 8, direct and inverse variation, part 1. Please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book, exercise 9.1, sum number 3. If 8 meters of cloth cost Rs. 250, find the cost of 5.8 meters of the same cloth. Before solution, we have to remember this. Variation. What do you mean by variation? Values will vary. That is, values are changing. That is variation. There are three types of variation. Direct, inverse and join. What is direct? More and more. That means more pain, more cost. Less pain, less cost. And inverse, more and less. More labor, less time. Less time, more labor. This is the inverse. And joint variation. That is not in your syllabus. But for your uh, information that is given, area of triangle. If area of triangle more, then height, base and height also will be more. This is joint variation. Now pay your attention on the solution. Here 8 meters cloth cost rupees 250. The cost of 5.8 meters of the same cloth is what? 8 meters cloth cost more than 5.8 meters. That is less cloth cost will be less. Hence, it is a case of direct variation. Therefore, 8 by 250 divided by 5.8 divided by cost of cloths, that is x. By simplifying this type of simplification, you know very well. By simplification, we are getting the value of x, that is 181.25. Therefore, the cost of 5.8 meters of cloth is rupees 181. Two, five. Answer this. And vital things, this portion we have to understand clearly. Meter, meter, cost, cost. In this way, we have to arrange. Next sum. If a car travels 67.5 km in 4.5 liters of petrol, how many kilometers will it travel in 26.4 liters of petrol? Now, solution. Here, a car travels this kilometer in 45 liters of petrol. In this liters of petrol, the car travels how many kilometers? That is, we have to find out. This kilometer travels in this liters of petrol and this liters, that is more petrol, will travel more. That is, it is a case of direct variation. Therefore, in this way, we have to arrange. That is liter by kilometer, liter by kilometer. This is kilometer. Then by simplifying, point point will be eliminated. And here all one point, this is why 10. Then simplification, that simplification by following the step attentively, easily you will understand. The value of x is coming 396. Therefore, in 26.4 liters of petrol, the car will travel 396 kilometer. This is the answer. Vital part, this. If you understand, if you follow, then easily you will understand. Okay. Thank you, everybody.